Okay, I'm here with Reiner Gerbach and his house in the Geos community. And uh, before we go in the house, I, I'm standing in the garage here. Just want to point out that he has uh, two Teslas, a Model S and a Model 3. There's the charging uh, station on the wall there. And uh, that's all for the, the cars in the garage. But uh, look at this beautiful landscaping here. You say you have drip drip uh, irrigation? Yeah, the vast majority is based on drip irrigation. We added some plants to it, so we're using rain barrels to water them. Yeah, right. Over here is the rain barrel. Do you have another one, or is that the only one? three of them. Yeah. Oh, three water. Oh, yeah, I see one over there one past that uh, green at the front and one at the front. Okay. And on the wall there, I see you've got the uh, inverter for the yes. solar. How much solar do you have? Uh, the total system is 7.68 kilowatts, I believe. Okay, so okay. The, the house is grandfather, the, the development is grandfather, so you can go from nearly ridge to eave line and up to the rake lines. Newer, uh, newer laws require, I think, a two or three foot path around it. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Notice here that in Geos they stagger these single family homes so that, uh, so that no home, even though they're properties are close to each other, no home is shading the home next to it. Yeah, it's from not much of a problem in the summer because of the, the, the scenes of the sun, but in the winter time the sun is slow. Yeah, it, it would be a problem then. It would be a lot of shielding going yeah. on. Yeah, okay. So your home has uh, ground source heat pumps, yes. geothermal it's mm -hmm. called. Right. We'll go in and see that. And uh, look at this beautiful yard here. You've got very nice uh, decorating here. Yeah, we found a landscaper in uh, Loveland, mm -hmm. north of here. Yeah, and uh, you showed up. Mm -hmm. Unusual with contractors nowadays. But yeah, you did an excellent job. It, their garage is on the alley, and it's physically attached to the house next door. The house next door has has an attached garage that, of its own. That's no, it's a built-in garage. A built-in, yeah, These like are the uh, alley houses that they have the garage built in. Right. Part of the ground floor. Right. Okay, so let's go inside and look at some of the features of this house. Okay, so we're in the main floor here, and uh, Reiner, tell us about the sustainable features on this level. Well, this floor, like the house itself, has uh, good insulation compared to uh, typical house construction. Uh, we have an R of 22, 23 in the walls. Uh, the roof is an R of 55, and the uh, building is pretty much airtight. Mm -hmm. So airtight is one of the biggest contributors of uh, air leakage, and therefore warm air in the winter being carried out and warm air in the summer being carried in. Right. High pressure flows to low pressure, so air tightness does help substantially in maintaining a, a balanced environment. Right. Uh, the windows are from Alpen. Um, they're producing up north uh, around Boulder, I believe. Triple pane, argon filled. Um, they have an insulating value of, I, I believe, of six or nine per window. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we have... Um, Shades installed, which can be lowered. Uh, they can be open partially during the day to get some light in. We mm -hmm. have them lowered as the sun makes its arc from east to west mm -hmm. so that the uh, house is protected from direct uh, sun ingress. Okay, let's talk about appliances. The appliances are uh, pretty much all from Miele. Um, Miele has, uh, I'm German, so I'm kind of partial, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. Highest quality and they're very, very energy efficient. Mm -hmm. And the Sub Zero is energy efficient too? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's go downstairs and look at the mechanicals. Uh, you have a ground source heat pump and an, a CERV, so we'll explain that when we get downstairs. So we're in the basement now, and there's no visible uh, mechanical room because they're hidden behind these mirrored doors. So, uh, Go ahead and introduce us to your primary heating system. Well, there are two rooms here. We decided to use these doors for the little storage built in. Yeah. So, this is okay. our geothermal unit manufactured by Bosch. Okay, and where and is the. Well, oh, there are the pipes coming out of the ground, right? These are going down to a loop system which extracts uh, latent heat or cold from the ground takes this machine, converts it, and pushes it throughout the house. Mm -hmm. So there's a heat exchanger in there, which Correct. which uh, it, it uses electricity, I, I, I gather, with the heat pump to add to the 55-degree uh, glycol from that loop, that ground loop, 
Correct. and then blow air across it to heat the house. Right. So it's a forced air system. Look at all these ducts here. Are these some of these are return air and some are well yeah the ones going into this plenum yeah. are return air. Right? I think this is uh, return. This is uh, yeah, and then these sure. one, this one at the bucket. top is the outflow. Yeah. This so is the water heater that could be run on heat pump only, meaning from this guy here, mm -hmm. could be hybrid or electric uh, right. exclusively. Right. So right. we're running it with the heat pump. Yeah. Okay. So we're still trying to figure out the optimum um, temperature. So we're running at about 104 degrees, which seems to be more than enough for hot water. Yeah. Okay, great. And in the winter, the process is reversed. Uh, the 55 degree water or glycol coming out from the ground is actually probably almost cool enough to just blow air across it, isn't it? Or yeah. Well, it pulls out latent heat within that air. Yeah. And that's sufficient to cool the house, or to warm the house in the winter time. Yeah, and to cool it, cool that glycol in the winter, I guess, to uh, to cool the house. Right. Still forced air cooling. Okay, now, the, what's behind these doors? That's our surf unit. It's an uh, improved energy recovery ventilator. So CERV, we call it a serve, and it's conditioning energy recovery ventilator, correct? Uh, yes, it's the okay. second generation. And uh, not much to look at here, but what is it doing? Well, it has a circulation mode in there, so it constantly re re replenishes air from the inside with outside air. Uh, you can set set points up how many times an um, hour and how often, what fan speed you want to use. You can also go for recirculation modes. That means that colder air from the basement can be pushed up to uh, the top floors to balance more the overall temperature. Um, oh, so you use it for temperature balancing between the floors. Yeah, I have it up to set points uh, which are higher than the uh, geothermal unit because we don't want that unit to run all the time and suck out energy which we don't really need to lose. Yeah, okay. Okay, great. And it monitors air quality too. Yeah, do you have uh, a um, screen here, which uh, gives you outside temperature, inside temperature, outside temperature, CO2, and VOC. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's set for 1,000 on the on the CO2 level and the VOC level. So VOTs tend to go up and down, specifically with construction mm -hmm. going on around you in other houses. The VOC tend to be on the higher side than CO2. Yeah, VOC being volatile organic volatile compounds. Organic compound, yeah, right. Okay, so that's the mechanical system. And um, what else do we need to share about the house? Well, the, the basement floor slab has on the slab insulation. That insulation is wrapped around into the foundation walls. Mm -hmm. So the foundation wall is insulated on the interior side. So then the, uh, the stud system is actually floating and then the interior finish is uh, attached to that. Yeah, okay. Anything else you'd like to say? Well, we have a, you know, we're trying to you know, be cognizant of Colorado and water being a scarce entity. Mm -hmm. So all of our water supply is based on rain showers. So it's a very limited water supply. So you still have the full effect, I believe of having a full shower, but you're using probably half to 30% of the water you would otherwise use. Mm -hmm. Okay, so water conservation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for the tour. You're Appreciate welcome. it.